heavy. Cheerio chaps, it's your girl Kiki, back spitting some facts for you about the Great British Wealth Escape. All right, folks, gather round. Did you hear about the mass exodus happening across the pond? No, not the Rolling Stones reunion tour. Though that would be amazing. We're talking about UK millionaires making a run for it. It's like a posh version of Survivor, but instead of outwitting, outplaying, and outlasting, they're out-earning, out-taxing, and out-lounging. You see, those stiff upper lips are starting to quiver a bit. The UK's economic climate has gotten a little, shall we say, chilly. Between Brexit blues and tax hikes that would make Scrooge McDuck blush, suddenly a villa in Tuscany seems a whole lot more appealing than a rainy day in London. But it's not just about the money, honey. Well, it's mostly about the money. But there's also a growing concern about crime rates and future policies that have folks trading their tea and crumpets for cappuccinos and croissants. So buckle up, Buttercup, because we're about to dive into the why, the where, and the what were they thinking of this millionaire migration. Taxman got you down? Join the club. Let's face it, nobody loves paying taxes. It's like going to the dentist. Necessary, but not exactly fun. But in the UK, the taxman isn't just asking for a little checkup, he's practically performing root canal surgery without anesthesia. We're talking about some seriously hefty income tax rates, capital gains taxes that'll make your eyes water, and don't even get me started on inheritance tax. It's enough to make even the wealthiest Brit consider investing in a good pair of running shoes. And the worst part? It's not like the government is using all that extra cash to, you know, improve things. The NHS is still struggling, public services are stretched thin, and potholes are multiplying faster than rabbits in springtime. So why not take your hard-earned millions, or billions, and invest them in a country that won't treat you like a walking ATM? Pickpockets and palaces, crime doesn't pay, but neither does staying. Now, I'm not saying the UK is one big crime scene, but let's just say Sherlock Holmes would have plenty of work these days. From petty theft to more serious offenses, crime rates have been on the rise leaving some wealthy residents feeling a bit vulnerable, even behind their gated mansions and high-tech security systems. And who can blame them? It's hard to enjoy your penthouse view when you're constantly worried about someone breaking in and making off with your prized Picasso. Sure, every country has its share of crime, but when you combine rising crime rates with the already high cost of living and the aforementioned tax situation, it's no wonder many millionaires are starting to feel like sitting ducks. Dubai, where the sun shines and the taxes don't. So if you're a millionaire on the run, where do you go? Well, Dubai is looking pretty tempting these days. Imagine, year-round sunshine, sparkling beaches, and best of all, zero income tax. Yes, you heard that right, zero, zip, zilch, nada. It's enough to make even the most hardened accountant break into a smile. And it's not just the tax situation that's attracting the wealthy. Dubai boasts a luxurious lifestyle with world-class shopping, dining, and entertainment options. Plus, it's a great base for exploring other parts of the world. So pack your bags, grab your sunscreen, and get ready to experience life in the lap of luxury, tax-free. America still a thing? Apparently, yes. Okay, so maybe Dubai isn't your cup of tea, or should I say Arabic coffee? Don't worry, there are other options. America, for example, might seem like an odd choice for tax-wary Brits. After all, the U.S. has a reputation for being, well, a bit taxing. But hold your horses, or should I say, hold your corgis. While the U.S. does have federal income tax, some states are practically begging wealthy individuals to move in with open arms and open wallets. Take Florida, for instance. No state income tax, beautiful weather, and enough Disney attractions to keep you entertained for a lifetime. Or at least until your grandkids get tired of it. Texas is another popular choice, with its booming economy and business-friendly environment. So, if you're feeling adventurous and don't mind trading in your afternoon tea for a glass of sweet tea, America might just be the place for you. Ciao Italia. The continent beckons with lower taxes. Now, for those who prefer their escapes with a side of European charm, there are always the continent's usual suspects. Italy, for example, has been luring in wealthy foreigners with its new flat tax scheme. That's right, pay a flat fee and say arrive dirty to those pesky income tax brackets. Plus, you'll be living in Italy. Pasta, pizza, gelato, need I say more? And then there's Switzerland, the OG tax haven. Nestled amidst the Alps, Switzerland offers breathtaking scenery, political stability, and of course, very favorable tax rates. So whether you're looking to sip wine in Tuscany or ski in St. Moritz, Europe has something to offer even the most discerning millionaire on the run from the tax man. 
Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. So if you've had fun or learned anything, do us a favor, like comment, subscribe, share. That stuff really helps out the channel. We really need your help in building our community. We release polls at 9 a.m. Eastern every day. You can find them on our community tab, a short video at 2.15 p.m. daily, and a longer type video every other day. We'd love to hear from you. Leave us a hello in the comments below. Also, you can check out the super links we have in the description for Savvy Travel Gear to help keep you safe on your next journey. Or if you prefer, you could simply buy me a coffee with the QR code on the screen or with the link in the description below. We are so grateful for your love and support of the channel. Remember to be kind, be gentle with yourself, and know that you are appreciated. Peace.